بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Manifestations of Mercy in Islam Since the advent of Islam, it has overwhelmingly promoted the concept and the quality of mercy. Allah describes the Quran as pure mercy. O mankind, there has come to you instruction from your Lord and healing for what is in the hearts, a guide and a mercy for the believers. He also describes himself in the very first chapter of the Quran as the most merciful and the most gracious. He says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Furthermore, he describes his mercy saying, And my mercy envelops everything. As for Prophet Muhammad, Allah states clearly why he had sent him by saying, And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, except as mercy for the world. Prophet Muhammad was a living depiction of mercy and a perfect example for humanity. He generously offered tremendous hospitality to his guests. He helped the needy and the poor. He was there for anyone in need. He kept strong ties with his relatives. He was kind to everyone. He used to say, Those who show mercy will receive Allah's mercy. Have mercy on those on earth so that you have mercy received by the one Allah above. Islam stresses mercy. It includes a range of highly elevated ethical manners and behaviors, such as helping those in need, supporting the weak, defending the oppressed, and encouraging the depressed. Those features of mercy are not exclusively meant to be dedicated only to human beings. They even extend to include every living thing. According to a hadith, a narration by Prophet Muhammad, a man was completely forgiven for quenching the thirst of a panting dog. All the incidents and teaching of Islam conclude that mercy is superior to all other fine qualities and concepts. It's also well emphasized that mercy is the root of all virtues. <laughs>